네, 저희 한국어 책 제목과 저자 말씀해 주시고 낭독 시작해 주세요. 셰익스피어의 폭풍우입니다. 1막 2장. 앞으로의 일은 내내 프로스페로의 섬 여기저기서 벌어진다. 마법사 복장의 지팡이를 든 프로스페로와 미란다 등장. 미란다. 만일 아버님, 아버님께서 거칠은 파도를 이리 포효하게 만드셨다면 진정시켜 주세요. 하늘이 아마도 악취나는 역, 역청을 쏟아 부을 것 같았는데 바다가 하늘의 뺨까지 쳐올라가 불에 찬물을 껴, 끼얹었어요. 오, 저는 괴로웠어요. 제 눈에 비친 그 고통받는 사람들과 함께요. 멋진 배였는데 그 안에 분명 고결한 분들이 타고 있었을 텐데 산산조각이 나다니. 오, 비명소리가 마구 때려대요. 바로 내 가슴을요. 불쌍한 사람들, 그들은 죽었어요. 제가 힘을 지닌 신이라면 바다를 배, 돼지 안에 침몰시켜 버렸을 텐데 바다가 그 훌륭한 배와 그 안에 타고 있는 사람들을 그렇게 집어삼키기 전에 프로스페로 진정해라 더 이상 놀랄 것 없다 긍휼을 아는 내 마음에 전해주렴 아무도 다치지 않았다고 미란다 오 슬픈 날이에요 프로스페로 안 다쳤어 아무도 나는 오로지 너를 생각해서 한 일이다 얘야 너내 사랑스러운 사람 너내 딸을 위해서 비록 너는 네가 누구인지 모르고 있지만 말이다. 아무것도 모르지. 내가 어디서 왔는지. 내가 더 높은 사람이 아니고 그냥 프로스페로 아주 초라한 오두막 주인인 줄로만 그리고 너의 그저 그런 아버지로만 알고 있어. 미란다. 더 알려고 생각한 적도 없었어요. 프로스페로. 이제 때가 되었다. 네게, 네게 더 많은 얘기를 해주마. 내 손을 빌려다오. 이 마법사 의상을 벗겨주렴나 미란다가 프로스페로의 옷을 벗겨준다 네. 1분 동안 방금 읽어주는 정보인데요 네 지금 이제 프로스페로와 미란다가 처음 등장하는 장면입니다 그런데 지금 문맥에서 딱 보시면 아시겠지만 미란다가 그 배가 침몰하는 과정을 멀리서 본 거예요 그래서 미란다는 이제 배가 침몰함으로써 이제 사람들이 다 죽었다고 생각을 하고 그거에 대해서 이제 아버지에게 이걸 다 폭풍호를 멈춰달라 라고 간청을 하는 장면이죠. 그래서 아마 미란다의 성격이라든지 이런 게좀잘 드러나는 장면이라고 생각이 돼서 이 장면을 골랐는데 어 근데 이제 끝에 보면은 사실은 여기서 미란다가 둘이서만 잘 살고 있었는데 미란다가 어 미란다의 출생의 비밀이 이제 밝혀지는 거죠 여기서부터 그래서 미란다 너는 너의 과거에 대해서 아무것도 모르는데 지금부터 얘기해 주마 라고 하면서 이제 얘기를 하는 장면이 되겠습니다 네딱 네. 1분 됐습니다 네. 이제 영화 낭독으로 넘어가겠습니다 네. 네. Please start reading okay. 네. Act 1, Scene 2 The Island, Enter Prospero and Miranda. Miranda, if by your art, my dearest father, you have put the wild waters in this roar and laid them, the sky seems would pour down stinking pitch, but that the sea mounting to the welkin's cheek dashes the fire out. Oh, I have suffered with those that I saw suffer, a brave vessel who had no doubt some noble creature in her, dashed all to pieces. Oh, the cry did knock against my very heart. Poor souls, they perished. Had I been any god of power, I would have sunk the sea within the earth, or ere it should the good ship so have swallowed, and the fourteen souls within it, within her. Prospero, be collected, no more amazement. Tell your piteous heart, there's no harm done. Miranda, oh, woe the day. Prospero, no harm. I have done nothing but in care of thee, of thee, my dear one, thee, my daughter, who art ignorant of what thou art, not knowing of whence I am, nor that I'm more better than Prospero, master of a full poor cell, and thy no great father, greater father, Miranda. More to know did never did. Never meddle with my thoughts, Prospero. This time I should inform thee, Father. Lend thy hand and pluck my magic garment from me. 
Miranda helps him to this road. What is the keyword in this painter? Oh, uh, okay, so there are several keywords, but this is basically a scene where Miranda asks his father to stop the, uh, stop the tempest. So I think the most important wor word would be like uh, a vessel and the fire. No, yeah, things like that. So the vessel. Yes. Yeah, where, vessel. Where, where is it? In the first? Uh, vessel. Vessel is an, uh, the Miranda's first uh, for 34, fifth, sixth line. From the top. Of From the top. If by your heart is the first line, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. six. Yes. A brave, a brave vessel. vessel. But what does it mean? A vessel is a, basically a ship. So, yeah. And why do you think it is the most important? Because they are talking about the ship, uh, which, uh, which is, was sunk by the storm. So. I think it's the most important okay. word. What part are you going to explain? Uh, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. From, From the first, the first yeah. yeah, because uh, the first beginning part is a little bit figurative. So I think those parts are very, in a way, very descriptive, but they can be very difficult to understand. So let me explain a little bit more. So. The first line, by your art, by you, my dearest father, you have put the wild waters in the roar. In this roar, roar means yeah, usually a lion roars, right? And, but this means a storm. So allay them. Allay is a very difficult word as well. Yeah, allay means to, to reduce something, to, to make it less. And here's, this is a very interesting uh, description. The sky seems would pull down sticking pitch. So it looked like it was going to uh, pull that sticking pitch. Do you know what pitch is? Like, yeah, probably heard like pitch black. Yeah, so pitch is a very black substance uh, left over from oil and some cauldron, yeah, coals, coals. So, so it was, it felt like it was uh, like pouring some black material and then the sea, uh, C was dash mounting to the Welkin cheek. Welkin cheek is a, also a very difficult expression. It means basically means Welkin cheek means the Welkin is the sky. So the C kind of soar by the storm and touches, slaps the cheek of the sky. So it soared like rose very high. Probably the storm was so ferocious, very big, and dashes the fire out. Yeah, it looked like the uh, the fire here, here means the lightning. So uh, it was rainy, but there was lightning in the sky. So uh, it, it looked like the sky was in, on fire, but the storm uh, rose the waters, so rose so high, kind of extinguished the fire. Then, yeah, and then Miranda keeps talking that she's kind of suffering she has a great sympathy in people, so she kind of feels, she feels very, like, she feels agony because she's uh, sympathizing with people and uh, she feels sad. So he, she keeps saying that uh, uh, it must be a, a very good ship and very good people. A brave here means, brave means different thing. Like in brave new world, brave doesn't mean with cur courageous. Brave means noble. So uh, she saw a very brave ship means a very noble ship. And the noble ship must have some noble people inside. So she said noble creatures in her. And dashed to all pieces. pieces. That means probably they were like killed by the storm. So I have a question. Did yeah. Prospero uh, make the wild waters in the sea? Yes, he did. He, he's a basically a musician and he caused the storm, but incredibly, no one was hurt. He made sure that no one was hurt in the storm. So everyone survived. So, and yeah, she, so he keeps, Prosper keeps telling his daughter that no one was hurt, but obviously it's kind of hard to believe for her. So, but, yeah.
these are things I, I like the description once it's a little bit difficult but once you understand the meaning the you can almost imagine uh, like a sea slapping like sky's cheek and I bet it was a creative and very vivid descriptive and well yeah that, that's the part I wanted to explain um, but should I go more, tell you more or anything more interesting? Yeah. Yes. Does Miranda can magic like her father? No. Uh, I haven't seen her do any magic in here. So probably he, Prosper didn't teach her. And before, when, you, when you told us the story, the whole story, mm -hmm. so you, you told me mm -hmm. that Prosper didn't know where who's in the verset. Oh, uh, he, he knows. He yeah. saw. Yeah, and so he makes tone. Yes, <laughs> yes. Why he make this um, terrible stone? Ah, uh, okay. Um, he sees in the, by fortune or destiny. I don't know, but he sees his enemies, former enemies, oh. and in their face. Yes, uh, but he's a magician, but from afar, maybe he can sense, that he, maybe he can see from very far that uh, the ship has uh, his enemies. So he kind of brings up the storm, and the ship is broken, but the uh, people are all alive, and they arrive at the island, and Prospero meets them at the end of the play, all together. And what does he do to them? You have to read to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Any more questions? Yes. You said Prospero was king? Yes, he was um, exactly, it, uh, he was uh, the highest person in one of those city, city state. So you don't, didn't exactly call him king or duke, something like that. So yeah, he was like a king, yeah. So. Uh, yes, he kind of studied magic and actually he got too occupied with his magic study. So he kind of designated all the things to do to his brother. And, but his brother is a kind of very bad guy. So he thought, I'll kick, kick him out. I'll kick my brother own older brother out and I'll be the king. Mm -hmm. So that's why Prospero was kicked out of the, uh, his so, was, was he born in this island or did he move from other place? Uh, who? Prospero? Yes, Prospero. Oh, of course, he was a king of in one of the cities in the Italian, Italian cities. So he was probably born there, but later when he was kicked out, then he traveled with his daughter, very young daughter, uh, in a boat, and they got stranded on an island. From then, he studied more magic and probably got more powerful. Mm. The way the pastor is there, uh, the enemy you said is the, the enemy is uh, his brother? Yes, his brother and his collaborators. Actually, another king in other, in Napoli, I think, yeah? So another king and they worked together to kick Prospero out of his kingdom. The vessel crashed, uh, and uh, but uh, all the, the people in the vessel were alive. That is the intention, okay? Yes. Get them alive and then get them some revenge or some yes. punishment. Yeah, some kind of revenge, but okay. not really. Mm -hmm. At the end, mm -hmm. yeah, Prospero forgives all of them and even marries his daughter to the, the son mm -hmm. of one of the, the king. Mm -hmm. So, kind of, yeah. He, I don't know, he made things look like good and well, yes. Did they do, did the noblemen in the boat do something wrong or bad in their country or? Who, the Prospero? No, the noblemen in the boat. Oh, noblemen, well, yes, actually they are not that noble. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're basically Prospero's brother and his collaborators uh, who worked together to kick Prospero out of, 
like his kingdom. But there's one very noble servant who served Prospero very well. And he kept serving his brother, but he basically helped uh, Prospero to survive. So he, he this, uh, I think his name is Gonzalo or something. Uh, Gonzalo even put magic books for Prospero in, the, in their boat. So, uh, please, the audience says, uh, who hasn't given a cast on, please join. Then he can finish, okay? Please yep. help Jerry. <laughs> any simple, uh, any easiest uh, question? Yes. Will, uh, any words so, that you don't know? Is yeah. there a magic school like Hogwarts? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I think uh, Prospero had only his books. No yes. one, I think he taught himself. Very good question, so, though. So, Huh? Spare books about magic. Books about magic. Yeah, magic. books about magic. Just to shake his head. <laughs> Do you, I have a question. How old is? How old is? How old is she? Yeah. Uh, I think it actually t talks about her age somewhere. Oh, really? But uh, mm -hmm. yes, um, Teenage. like they talk about how long. It had been since they arrived in the island, so. Uh, but I think he's uh, f around 15, mm -hmm. so uh, Miranda should be around 18, 17. Yeah, well, but old enough to get married. So yeah. how long has they been in the island? Yes, I think it's just I told you like 15 years. 15 I think years. yeah, 10 to 15 years. Mm -hmm. I can't remember exactly. Do you know what happened to her mother? Ah, mother. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> there, 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 there. Yeah, it must be something. Yeah, he, she must have some mother, a mother, but I don't know what happened. It, it doesn't, doesn't play, the play doesn't say anything about her mother. The very penetrating question. Yes, <laughs> where's mother? <laughs> uh, actually, that's, that's a very interesting question. Actually, I've seen a movie uh, with the same title, The Tempest, uh, with very famous actors in it. But in the movie, the Prospero is not a male. It's female. Really? You say it as a mother. So he, even the name is a Prospera. Yeah, oh. not Prospero. But I like the version. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the the mother was very fierce, magician, mm -hmm. looked very cool. Mm -hmm. So I liked. Actually, I liked her much better mm -hmm. than just father. Yeah. Any question? Please go. So who who hasn't given? Who, is, who hasn't? You. you. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, I have a question about some vocabulary that yes. I'm not used to with, All right. such as the uh, or the or die or Oh, the, yes, yes, but you'll what? get used yes. to it. Um, where did you find that? Dine, like it's your, uh, the is you, but mm. it's, yeah, it's, once you get to know the role, it's very simple. Uh, where, where did you find that? In the second the page. Second page. Second in the page. Middle of this page. Uh -huh. The prosperous dialogue in mm -hmm. the first sentence, but in care. Of ah, okay, yeah, yes. Yeah, so I in care of the the means you, oh. of the of the and then means you. Yeah. And below of the sentence, I uh -huh. can see the what thou uh, what thou. Uh, uh, ah. Thou thou is you uh, thou is you as well. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, so. The is uh, like a 목적어, 목적격, yeah, yeah, of you, and thou is a 주격, a subject, a subject, and it, they even have thine, thine is a, like 술격, and you, your, yeah, like, things like that, yeah, it's, yeah. yeah, it can be very unfamiliar. Any more questions? Please, hurry up. Yeah. Yeah, who hasn't asked any questions? Yes. Who does Ah, okay, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, one of the enemies of Prospero who landed on the island uh, is a king called uh, Alonso. Alonso, he, he's a king of Naples. And 
Alonso worked together with Prosper brother to to kick um uh, to kick Prosper out. And Alonso had a son, and they they were traveling together. And his name is Ferdinand, and he's son of the king of Naples. So he's going to be a, he's a princess, right? a prince. So he's going to be a king of Naples. And Ferdinand falls in love with Miranda at first sight. So that's how the story goes. And then Prospero kind of actually intended it to happen, but he succeeded, and they fall in love and they're going to get married. Yeah. I have a question. Yes? You said you would know the character of Miranda in this scene. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the character of Miranda? Uh, she's begging her father uh, to save the ship, which was like, oh, almost broke by the storm. So I think she is a very uh, good-natured uh, and a very uh, she has a, a lot of sympathy with people and even though she hasn't seen any other people because they've been living together since very or she were very uh, she was very young so but and it yeah you can see later in the play she, she's some kind of very good-natured uh, very good girl What does mean the last sentence the mm. last paragraph? The prosper said, this time I should inform the father, let your hand. What does it mean? Ah, uh, lend thy hand. Yes. Lend thy, means lend thy, thy means your, right? So, please help me. Lend thy hand means like, mm. give me your, give me your hand, give me your hand. Things that, help, that means help me and pluck my magic garment. So, obviously, uh, Prospero needed some kind of cloak to do magic, but uh, he wants to kind of uh, take it off and talk with her oh. for now. But he's been doing magic on the ship, so he needed a garment. Yeah, but he's taking off the, his coat. Mm -hmm. So in Shakespeare's uh, many works, there are two uh, lively characters, Othello and Iago, right? mm -hmm. and Romeo and Juliet, mm -hmm. in Tempest, okay? Could you pick up some, some library two characters? Uh, no. Yes. Uh, yeah. There's a, of course there's a Prospero, mm -hmm. very very important character. Mm. Not Miranda, right? Yes. No, Miranda. Miranda is just his daughter, mm -hmm. and uh, the biggest enemy to Prospero would be his own brother. Mm -hmm. His uh, own brother is Antonio, mm -hmm. and but does he appear in the work frequently? He, not as frequently, yes. There are many other characters who appear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even even the uh, the just um, people who were working on the boats mm -hmm. and the his brother Antonio and the, the king of Naples. I thought maybe the king of Naples, Alonso, was a rather important character. But uh, I think the. The biggest like enemy, biggest enemy would be still his brother. Mm -hmm. He plotted with foreign king to invade his own land and become a king mm -hmm. himself. Then last, this uh, work cannot divide, okay, and the uh, good and right, mm -hmm. okay, bad or good. Just many characters, mm -hmm. niches. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. in a way, in a way. Yes. Yeah. So you can see that Alonso is not that bad. Or, Ferdinand is a very good man. <laughs>